Hello, crafting friends. I'm Doreen DeSivas from It Begins With Ink and Paper, and welcome to Funfold Friday. Excuse me, welcome to Simply Stamping Sunday. I wish it was Funfold Friday, but we'd have the whole weekend ahead of us. But we are at the end of the weekend, and I can't believe how fast it went by. I hope it didn't go by as fast for you as it did for me. So tonight I'm going to start with a little card share. These are cards that I made from over the week, not just the weekend. I actually was really busy planning my Funfold Fridays. That's why Funfold Friday is on the brain. Um, but these are some um, things that I just needed to finish up from the summer when I couldn't do a lot of crafting because of my back surgery. So this first one's made with the Adventurous Sky bundle is and with the this kind of cloud that um, goes around is made with the um, deckled circles die. The next two cards were made with the um, citrus oh, let's see I've got the stamp set right over here somewhere. Um, well the Mediterranean blooms um, sweet. So and again, it just has a white inside. Um, this one was also made with the Mediterranean um, blooms. Sweet. Here we have the wildly flowering um, sweet. And I just cut one of the flowers out of the designer series paper to um, use on this card. And then here's another one. It's a little bit of a fun fold using the dies from that suite. Just so cute. I really like this one. This one, this little fun fold is made with the um, Unending Love and Bounded by Unbounded Love Suite. So it flips up and there is a, um, something stamped on the inside there. And then you open to the side and you can stick a gift card right into the pocket. Another fun one. This is also made by the Unbounded Love um, Sweet Collection. And then I just, you can see that we used, I used a piece of the designer series paper. The card stock is cut off right here. And then I just layered the inside. Look at this one with the duck, it's so cute. And then I put some lily pads on the inside as well. This is with the country flowers. This is the attention shoppers and it's just a shopping bag with some um, vegetables in it. And this just uses some of the designer series paper from the um, set. And I don't know if you can see in the background, because I used a plaid um, piece of designer series paper, I used the new plaid embossing folder. How exciting is that? And it goes live on September 4th in the mini catalog. This one used um, Friends for Life. a cute card. It has high going all the way across the top. This one also uses the Friends for Life. And then the last one was um, uses the new um, Winter Nest um, bundle, our sweet collection um, from the mini catalog. So I have several to show you. This was actually our um, demo day um, where we got to create and I didn't get to go because I had just had surgery um, a couple days before so I skipped it out and then saved this to do again to do later so I finished it this week so pretty the designer series paper the stamps the dies. So I want you to notice this die here, and I used it on the other card. 
on this card, I used the negative piece and sponged with, I do use the blends to um, blend some of the um, ink around, just a cool effect. And then here's the last one using some of the designer series paper and stamps. Okay, let me put these aside. All right, so it is our last week with Changing Leaves, and I've had so much fun uh, sharing this set, stamp set with you and all the different cards we've made and the different techniques that we've tried. And tonight, we're going to focus on Fun Folds. Hey, my favorite. Let me keep this out because I'm going to actually need it for some stamps. So we are going to be using tonight the very large set of leaves. So let's get that mounted on a block. Just want to make sure the whole thing is on the block. There we go. And we're going to be using this set, the stamp. We're going to be using the Regal Colors tonight, and we're going to be using um, Cherry Cobbler, and we're going to be using the um, um, Blueberry Bushel and Crushed Curry. I might need a bigger block for that, so let me just set that aside. And then for words, we're going to be using the Thank You, and You Are Amazing. So this is the You Are Amazing. Look at that on the block. And thank you. It's right here. Close that up and I'll grab the other lock. I think it will fit on this one. Oh, I folded it back up in the stamp set, of course. So we are going to use some new products as well tonight. So I am going to share with you a um, new designer series paper pack. There we go. And it is, let me just grab one so I can show it to you. So it is called the Season of Elegance um, paper. And I've started using it. I'm using it in a different Funful Friday. Um, that I was planning, but the papers, I'll take out a full sheet. Uh, you got uh, two sheets in the packet, or maybe three, um, and you've got, this is double-sided paper, so you've got this beautiful mellow moss on this side, and then you've got just that um, blended image on the back and the colors that are in here and you've just got this beautiful beautiful gold accent are um, the basic beige cherry cobbler crumb cake gray granite lost lagoon mossy meadow old olive pretty peacock real red and of course gold and so tonight we're going to be using the cherry cobbler paper let me just get this back in all the way to make our first fun fold. So let me show you what the card looks like. So the, this is the front. You are amazing in every single way. And then when you open it up, you this is a gatefold. Uh, when you open it up, it's a double gatefold. You um, get just the full image of that beautiful paper. So let's talk about how we make it. I am going to be I am going to be sharing all of the measurements in the comments afterwards. So not going to worry about that too much and I'll um, include the score lines for everything. So my first piece of paper is a five and a half by 11 sheet and I have scored this at two inches, three and a quarter, seven and a quarter and nine inches. Okay, so what I'm going to do with these folds, I'm going to use a bone folder. Let me grab one. 
I'm going to fold this in first, get a nice crease. Anytime you're doing a fun fold, you really want to make sure you burnish your edges really well. And then this piece is going to fold back. And then we're going to do the same thing with this side. I'm going to give it a nice burnish and fold this piece back. There we go. So it's going to close like this and then open up like this. All right, let's do our stamping next so that we can have that part done. So I have... Now I have a little piece of vanilla in here somewhere. There it is. All right. So on this card, we're just going to be using the Cherry Cobbler ink. And the first thing that I'm going to do is stamp up my large image because I'm going to be cutting this piece out. So here it is all inked up. And I've just got a scrap of very vanilla cardstock that I'm stamping the image on and then I'm just going to use my paper snips and cut it out and of course by the magic of TV I have already cut it out so I'm just going to set that aside and this aside. This is my middle piece and what I want to do with this is again ink up my stamp when I have a really large stamp like this, I usually turn my stamp over and then I ink it up that way. It makes it just a little easier. And let me just grab a piece of, I just had a whole mess of scrap paper here. And of course, I'll just do it on this mat, that's okay. And all I wanna stamp for this is just these top leaves. So there we go. Just take a tissue to get that red off of my glass mat. So this piece is going to go, here it is, go inside the inside the card. Let me just get that where it needs to be. And I'm going to put that in right now. There we go. Now the other piece that we're going to be stamping is the greeting. And this piece measures a half an inch by three and a quarter inches. And I'm going to be trimming this a little bit too. So I'm just going to ink up my greeting. And... I'm going to stamp this right in the middle. There we go. I'm gonna close up my ink pad so I don't have any little accidents. And I am going to I just had all of my pieces of cardstock and now they disappeared. Oh, here they are on my computer. All right, so the next step is to attach all of these. So this is the piece that's going to have the leaf over it. So it's a smaller piece. I have a piece of gold foil that measures two and an eighth inches by four and three eighths, and a piece of very vanilla that measures two by four and a quarter. So this piece is going to go layer onto the piece of gold foil. And I am going to trim this with my paper snips. And then I'm going to put it on top of a piece of gold foil. And I'm going to be trimming this as well. Oops, 
had a little crooked there. There we go, that's better. So this just gives a little gold accent to my greeting. Okay, we'll set these pieces aside. And now we're going to add our pieces of red. Aren't they beautiful? I'll give you a close up. They just have little gold sparkles and then the bigger pieces of gold. They're just so pretty. So these are cut um, in pieces that measure one and five eighths by five and one eighth. And they're gonna go on top of a piece of the gold foil that measures one and one quarter by five and a quarter. And remember, like I said, I will be putting all of this um, in the comments and in on my YouTube channel. It will be in the description so that you'll have everything you need. Oh, I didn't put that on right. So does anyone watching tonight have children that are going back to school? where I teach, we go back this week, tomorrow, actually. I spent the afternoon doing some things, getting ready. I never feel ready at this point. Um, but we have in-service tomorrow, and then we have a day to work in our classroom. And so I hope to, well, I don't hope, I have to finish up. So we have two that are this size, and then we're going to have two that are a little smaller than this. So we'll get this last larger one on, and the smaller pieces measure one and three eighths by five and an eighth, and then the gold foil measures one and a half by five and a quarter. So we'll just add our adhesive here. And to this one, and we'll attach them. And now that we have all of our papers done, we are able to now decorate the card, which won't take long. All right, so what we're going to do next is add these pieces. So the smaller ones are going to go on the inside, and the larger ones will go on the outside like that. So let me just get some adhesive on all of these. I love fun folds. Um, it's why I do my Fun Fold Friday series, and I just feel... They just are a little extra special card. So I really, really love making them and sharing them. Uh, it's always a little bit of a surprise to my friends and family when they open it up and see what, um, when they see the whole card. So I'm adding these pieces to the panel staying in between the score lines and centering them as best I can. We all know that a handmade card is always going to have a few imperfections. At least mine do. Okay, that's what the inside of our card looks like. And when we close it, that is what the front of the card looks like now. So now to put this um, next piece on, what we have to be careful about before we do so is that it's gonna sit here on the front and we only wanna put adhesive on one side. So I am going to run my adhesive 
down this a couple times. I want to have a good amount because this is going to be used a lot. And then what I'm going to do is center this onto the front of the card. And then you can see that it opens up nicely. So now to finish off, we're going to use some dimensionals on this the greeting, and we're just going to tape down the the leaves. So let me just put three dimensionals on the back of this one. And then add some adhesive to our leaves. And I'm going to need to be careful with this as well because the, as you saw in the card, the leaves go over. It's okay if the leaves stick to this side, the left side, but I don't want any of the leaves sticking to the right side. So on my, so this, I can, so this side here, I'm not gonna be concerned. This side over here, I'm gonna stay towards the middle. Okay, so I want this centered on my card front like that. And then I'm going to take the dimensional backings off and put my greeting on. And I'm just going to center this over the stem. And there is our first fun fold using the changing leaves. It's just beautiful. Remember, if you feel like you need more words, more room to write, you can add the very vanilla panels to the back. Okay, that's our first fun fold. Our second fun fold, get those out of the way uses the new um, Splendid Autumn Designer Series paper, and it is so pretty. So this is going to, ha it's a double flap fun fold, so the flap opens up this way, and then opens up this way to the inside of the card. You could put more Designer Series paper in the card if you wanted to, but I just have, I have this large tree, and then the paper that was like right beside it that I cut out. So, what you need for supplies, we're going to be using the Crush Curry and Bushel Blue ink. This is the paper that I cut this from, so you can see that there was a second tree here that I cut um, off the bottom of it when I was cutting this page out. The back side is just some of the Crush Curry blended colors, a nice solid background. We also are going to need some basic white cardstock. This is the piece that goes on the front. This piece we're going to be stamping our leaf image on. We need some crushed curry cardstock to mount the designer series paper on. We're going to need a piece of basic white to go on the inside of the card. And then we need our our um, cardstock, our blueberry bushel cardstock. This measures seven and a quarter, I believe, by five and a half. Yes, seven and a quarter by five and a half. And I scored it at three inches. And then I have another piece that I've scored. This piece measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter. But I scored it at one inch because this is going to go underneath the basic white cardstock. So we're gonna be taking care of this piece first. So let me put the card aside, and the first thing we're gonna do is fold and burnish and get a nice crease on this end. There we go. And then we're gonna do the same thing here and get a really nice um, crease. I'm going to then take and add some stamp and seal. I could use liquid glue. I could even use the tear and tape. Uh, so whatever your favorite adhesive is, we just want this to stick um, to the card base. So I'm going to line this up 
I'm not going to press down yet. I'm just going to press lightly in a spot. I want to make sure this is lined up with the crease and that it's even from top to bottom. There we go. So now I've got the mechanism of the card put together. It's that easy. So I'm going to start by stamping the flower twice. Well, actually, I'm going to stamp it a couple times. All right, so get out my crushed curry ink. The Regals collection is my favorite for making fall cards. So I've inked up my stamp, and for this one, I am going to have it coming down from the top this time. Just like that. And I'll show you why in just a minute. This is the one that you've already seen that I've cut it out, but I'm still going to stamp it because I'll use it for something else. I hand trimmed this with my snips to get this. So I'll put that with my stamped image. And then on this, I'm going to be stamping. So I'm going to do this part first. I'm going to stamp the thank you in my lower left-hand corner. I can never have too many thank you cards. There we go. Looks nice. I'm stamping that first so that I know where I'm going to stamp my image on my card front. So now I'm going to take my ink and I'm going to have two leaves on the front, the one that I cut out and then this one. So I don't want this one to hit the thank you. There we go. So now our stamping is all done and we can start to put everything together. So. The reason I put this in the upper corner is that when I close my card, it will be covered. If I had stamped it down in this end, in the right corner like I usually do, you would see the stamped image through the card. So that is why I stamped it right up here. And what's nice with the crushed curry color is that if you had to, you could write right over the stamped image. So we'll add this to the inside of the card. Perfect. So now for this layer, we're going to take the larger piece of the designer series paper and the crushed curry cardstock, and I'm going to be adding my adhesive here. If you haven't already said hello in the comments, make sure you do. I think this blueberry bushel and crushed curry just is such a refreshing color change, color combination. I love it. And that's what I love about our, our, fam, our color families is that you can really make some easy choices for what colors go together. Okay, so this panel is all done. Now let's go to the second panel. So I'm going to add this piece to the crushed curry cardstock. And then this piece is also going to go onto this piece, the front of the blue card. I want to make sure I'm putting it on in the right direction. Okay, so there we have the front of our card. And now we just have to do our, our label. And our label is going to be centered on this. So I'm going to take my smaller piece of basic white and add some adhesive. And this is going to go on to 
the front of the card. And I'm not going to use dimensions for this part. I'm going to use that for the leaf image. That's going to go there. And then this is going to get bumped up with some dimensionals. I love dimensionals. I use them quite a bit. Okay, there we go. Let's just take off those backings. So starting next Sunday, it will be the 1st of September, and we will be using a new stamp set, which is pretty exciting. And I'm going to bring that down like that so that I can see all the leaves from underneath. So here is our second fun fold. So to recap, our first fun fold card and then our second. I hope you enjoyed both of these cards and this the past five weeks with using the Changing Leaves stamp set. And I will be back Friday night for another edition of Funfold Friday. And of course, I'll be here next Sunday with the first edition or the first week of Simply Stamping Sunday with the Regal Floral Set. That's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me tonight. Have a great week, and I'll see you Friday night. Good night, everybody.